It's a Kenmore Elite. Door chime will not shut up. Here's the model that I have. It has become a garage fridge. So excuse the uh, car grease all over the place. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and dive into this panel. And a uh, quarter inch is what seems to get it. There's a uh, couple screws up there. Well, bolts, I should say. So let me drop those and I'm expecting this whole panel will come down. And I, I'm gonna to try to find the speaker, which I assume is integrated into the uh, motherboard and clip the wire for that. So let's see, wish me luck. All right, so I have removed two quarter inch screws, bolts, one from each side, right, right there, right there. And let's see what happens. Feels like there's one more. Yep, right there. And right there, two more. So I will be back. Million dollar question is, what is beeping? Ooh, could be this module right down here. As soon as you remove these last two screws, this whole unit just plops down on its own, I think. I think that's it. I'm gonna have to uh, test a few things though. One of the ways I'm going to do this to narrow it down is to grab some hose from one of my uh, oh, trusty cars. That might be a little thin, excuse the mess I'm between projects. gonna put it up to my ear I don't know if you can see it like so and just use it as a, a stethoscope to find out where this noise is coming from as soon as I narrow it down then we'll get to work so that's it hopefully you hear the sound come and go I tried uh, jumping these together just to see if it was a plunger that was broken because uh, my bulb is out up here. I know this one's working because the light comes and goes. So what I'm gonna do, there's two different ways. The right way to do this is to solder that up or heat it up and then that should fall out on its own. The wrong way is what I'm gonna do is just pry under it with a thin screwdriver and pray for the best. It's just the garage fridge at this point. Why not? All right, so I actually just took the screwdriver and uh, I gently put it under the, the unit, started prying and it came off really easy. So I would show it to you, but it is over there. So it's tied up at the moment. This has been uh, like this now for several minutes. So that killed the beeping. Thank God, I was gonna drive myself insane with that constant beeping, because I work a lot in my garage, and some of you, this made me your main fridge, and uh, this would be enough to lose my sanity. I've been having to crank the radio over this. Anyway, I don't know if anyone else is gonna actually watch this, but maybe one person will, and it'll help you out, so good luck.